Hello everybody, it's Simet Haven here today, and I wanted to show you guys a match that I had a few days ago on the 23rd, um, it's right now the uh, 25th, the same day I'm going to be uploading this. Um, so, for me, the, the way that a lot of these go, I will stop recording and just shut off OBS, and next thing you know, I get like the best game I've had in a while. Uh, by the way, I look tired as all heck because I just got off work. But it, it, it is what it is, you know. This is how it goes. But, yeah. So, let's go ahead and dive into this gameplay. And, uh, yeah, you guys are about ready to witness a fantastic match inside the IS-7. And I kind of think the replay system is going to be really good to use today because I'll be able to do the uh, free cam and show you guys the position that I plan on going to. So the IS-7 has got to be a, a very straightforward tank. This this is one of those tanks that it, it, it's a very simple-minded tank. It's all about that heavy aggression and doing some things. And uh, I'm going to do something I'm not known for. Uh, I forgot how to... Can you enter free cam? Hide playback, control. Okay, no, I want the playback control. What are you doing? Uh, I don't think I can. All right, well, on the set of a tank, we're getting approved. All right, let's go. <laughs> Sorry, had to. Um, so playing inside GM, I got one war gaming approved emblem. I decided to put it on the IS-7 because uh, it's a tank I played quite a bit, and I feel like the emblem was well deserved on this tank. So Arctic region, this is one of those maps that uh. If you spawn the southern flank here, and you take the bottom, so you're taking the whole entire south, um, if you take the position I'm going to, it, it's kind of a 50-50 high risk, high reward, just because of artillery. Artillery can hurt, absolutely destroy you, and just ruin your matches. You know, I'm not saying, you know, they're, they're unbalanced, that's all it is. But being extremely aggressive here, uh, FV, okay, we're not going to try and use that can. And sadly, I can't exit sniper, I can't exit and go into free cam mode which I would really like to but from here this position you're pretty much hauled down the entire time against everyone you have the rock right here on your left side defending you from the far back and really the only thing that can damage you if you're in a haul down tank is artillery right here where I'm going this is a little bit risky because these rocks are made of butter and uh, yeah you slide all over the place trying to drive on these you'll notice once you see me try to reverse here in a sec full send it and then come to a stop start to slide like butter so if you keep your tracks a little bit on the left side right there you'll keep traction but the second you're actually on the rock you lose all traction everywhere but this position it allows you to get cross shots on the left to help out your team and then get pushed on the right side if they decide to try and push it but if they do you can always try and break the ice down low to prevent them from getting inside the back section there uh, so far, getting two shots in, one into the FV and one into the uh, Panther 2 as well. Oh, hello FV, and one of the biggest reasons why I was ecstatic about showing off this replay. Um, with the power terrain on this tank, you have a lot of force. <laughs> Sorry, I was gonna laugh, but turns out I have a cough instead, but... Whenever I pushed him off, I got all 2,000 damage. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. I'm so sorry that I shoved you into the water. But I remember as I was playing this, um, my platoon mate barely died. And he was like, I wonder if you're going to get the damage for that. And yes, if, if you push someone off and you make contact with them right before they fall off a cliff, or if you're pushing them into the water, if you've made contact with them at all, or let's say someone's inside the water and you shoot their track to keep them in the water, you'll actually get all the damage from their death if they fall off a cliff or drown in the water. So that is just something to keep in mind. If you see, if you see someone trying to drive through water, um, aim for the tracks, track them in the water. If they've already used their repair kit, they're kind of stuck there for a little bit longer. And then you, you never know, you might get a kill by having them drown inside the water. So. As you guys can see right here, this is just a position that these guys are struggling to handle. Um, if you look at the map right now, I'm not a big fan of like what we can see. I'm going to swap over here 
real quick as I turn up the HUD. And yeah, not really much that you can see because of the replay system with the bugs right now. But I only have one teammate supporting me, which is the Tank Destroyer in the back, which is uh, Sauce and the Waffle E100. And this match turned out just very well. Um, the plays that were made, you know, pulling out, risking a little bit of damage, not worried about it. So the uh, Centurion Action X shooting high explosives, it seemed like. And then right here, just thinking, you know, let's do a little bit of reverse side scraping, because I remember seeing a tank over there a little bit ago. There we go. Reverse side scraping inside the IS-7. Reverse side scraping in general is really good practice, especially at this angle. Enemies on right, they can't penetrate you either. Enemies on left, they're just going to be bouncing as well. So, instead of exposing that pike nose, you're defended on both sides. Um, right here, you do kind of have to pull out a little bit farther due to the fact that you have the bushes in the way. But it's totally fine. I mean, unless you want to try and get shot in the rear by doing what I just did, pulling out past the bushes like that. But, 9-7, to seven, and on this side of the flank, it's it was just two of us against quite the amount and one medium that came up top here that uh, got destroyed a little bit ago. But overall, this was one of those matches that, yeah, I, I turn off OBS and I lose access to everything. Just completely forget about it, then it happens and it's like, oh, that sucks, I turned it off, now I'm sad. But, you know, it, it happens. It does, and I swear that's my curse. The second I stop recording matches is the second I start having really good matches. It, it, it could be like the mental part of it, you know, like you're recording and you're sitting there like, oh, I, I need to perform fantastic. I need to get the best games possible. But then again, at this, it's, it's really all based off of uh, just what you can do entirely and you never know the right scenario can pop up where you're gonna have a fantastic match or not but see one thing is matches like this i'm not a big fan of showing them off on my channel just because i don't feel like you guys will learn much from them other than the positioning i had along with maybe a little bit of armor angling a few extra tips that i can throw in and this replay you know it's like i'm in the front row so yeah i won't mind actually using this one I'm um, trying to ram the tracks off of the IS, well, not the IS, the 257, and then push them into the water, but sadly, I I don't move good enough to be able to ram and push them into the water. You know, if you back off and re-ram somebody, you can reinitialize a tracking shot, and there I am making a bit of a misplay and shooting the uh, heavily angled side armor of the 257. But, honestly, this was a fantastic game. And that would be, a, you know what, this actually might be the screenshot. No, that's way too blurry. <laughs> wow. Artillery splash, that looks pretty cool. But yeah. There's just a few things that... It, it, it can be a total pain in the butt. And I honestly think that the game forgot what the uh, match results for that was so I, I do believe it did forget what it was yep and then as, as replays go it's just going to shuffle like this on a loading screen non-stop for a while so what I'm going to do is we're going to come inside here and then we're going to open up my OBS folder and head down to a brain fart uh, uh this one here we go Yep, 8,160 damage dealt, 3,291 assisted, 4,310 blocked. Um, along with that, definitely a mastery badge, without a doubt, high caliber still wall. This match was just ridiculous. You guys can judge my little screenshots later. Some thick skin and some other fun things. But yeah, you guys, it, this it, I don't feel like you learn much from seeing these matches other than the fact that this was an 11,000 damage combined game, and I wasn't recording, so I'm a little bit sad about that. I missed out on recording this one. I always do that, though, all the time. So, you guys, I, I need to start recording more often. I want to do daily uploads. I just want to go crazy with it. Um, 
maybe not daily uploads. That's how you kill yourself. Uh, the brain fart. Um, up next, later today, I'm going to be trying to get in a video out for you guys uh, with the E4. If it's not later today, it will be Saturday. So other than that, I'm going to go take a shower and pass out. Let me know what you think about the IS-7 match. And if you guys even approve of seeing matches like this on the channel, if I can get them. So other than that, you guys have a great day. I'm out of here. I'm going to go die slowly because I'm just beyond tired right now. Yeah, I'm out of here.